What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Bro 2 Gory. Today we have some more Suarez SBC. We're going to be completing a bunch of teams. And as you do see in the title, um, I do pack another in form, which is very, very nice. And it's so, it's like so rewarding when you're actually getting something from packs. But I'm just, I'm not even going to say what in form I got. But it is from this new team of the week with Depay and Chan and all the other in forms, Icardi, Banega, all of them, they are in packs now. But in this current video that you're watching, the Sporting Gijon one that I'm doing right now, they're not in packs yet. This is from yesterday. And I still haven't finished the Sporting Gijon one. I checked today also, but the right back is like 7,000 7, coins, excuse me. And all the fullbacks are super expensive. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to spam uh, bronze packs. And then after I'm going to do the upgrade to silver method, see if I can get it. And if I can't get it, I'm just going to go out and buy them. Uh, because I I'm super close to finishing the scores. SPC. The only teams I need is Sevilla, uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid and uh, Real Madrid being the most expensive ones. And then Barcelona coming in third. And I haven't done Sevilla yet because they're normally a cheapish team. But right now they're in an SPC for the marquee matchups against Leicester City. The one that you guys saw yesterday so if, if you haven't gone, gone to check that out go check it out right now but yeah it is up on my channel already if you want to go figure that out before it does expire i think it does expire in a day or two um but yeah new cards are happening now the new team of the week looks fantastic i want the emery chan really bad and then i also want that hyung ming son that ngolo conti man of the match i don't want son that bad because i like his player of the month a lot it like it's it's enough for me um i don't think that the man of the match one the striker one the first one that was released i don't think that was that good so i don't want to try out the second man of the match one just yet because he's really expensive but i do want to try out that man of the match ngolo conti who looks absolutely insane. So yeah, we do go into supporting Gijon when how I said uh, the uh, fullbacks are really expensive except the left back I think or in the left back I didn't even buy it, but I put a center back at that center back spot and even the center backs I think are really expensive What I'm gonna try and do is put a center back at right back and then a CDM at center mid and then move the center mid to center mid and then just paid thousand or three thousand coins for the right mid Just because I can't be bothered to make so many position changes, but right here we do Las Palmas Las Palmas is very very cheap as well um, They do have a lot of gold low rated players so it was very easy to complete this one it kind of I think the striker the Argentinian striker was actually kind of a bit because of the uh, South American SBC that is going on I think I'm gonna be doing that next to see if I can make my coins back uh, because I do have a lot of players in the club and I will be picking up a lot of players here and there from the, pa uh, the packs that I am opening for the Suarez SBC. The only thing I am kind of worried about is spending too many coins on the Real Madrid Barcelona and Atletico Madrid ones but I don't think I'll be spending that many coins but um I'm just going to try and regulate it and not go too crazy on it because I know that they can get really expensive and it just depends how you go about it. And for the Thunder Madrid one, I know you could put Griezmann and then you could put a kind of a cheapish team around him, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put the uh, Gamero, the upgraded Carrasco, Gaetan, and then I think it's his name, what's his name? Um... Inform Torres, I think I have to put in there. So it's like really expensive still. You have to put Old Black, Golden, Jimenez, all that. What I'm going to try and do is if I can snipe them tomorrow during the weekly rewards, I will try and do that because um, a lot of a lot of packs are being opened. A lot of people are trying to put people up on the market for cheaper than they usually go for. And hopefully I can snipe a couple of Blacks, um, Felipe Luis, something like that. That will help me out, of course. And for the uh, Real Madrid... SBC, I think I'm going to put try and put Isco in because Isco is 86 rated, the one I have, the SBC one, the one that we unlocked for fitness, I do believe it was for day 23, because no, day 22, excuse me, he's number 22 now, Danilo, Danilo is number 23, but um, I think I'm going to put him in because if I do put him in, it kind of makes it cheaper and easier for me to complete that SBC, I don't think I will need as high rated players, I think I'll need to put Benzema in there, um, put uh, Lucas Vasquez, and I, I don't even know, I don't even know what the formation is, but I'm pretty sure you have to put a left winger in there, and of course the only left winger for Real Madrid is Ronaldo, so no one's going to put that in there, so you have to put someone off cam there. And I'm just going to try and go on foot bin and try and look for the easiest way to do that. But basically, I have completed after today all the expensive teams that you, or all the cheap teams, excuse me, all the cheap teams that you need to uh, put together for La Liga Santa there. So that is pretty good. That is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, all the teams that have mostly gold cards. And I did get lucky in one of the teams today from one of today's videos. Right here, you see me. This is the video that I recorded just a couple of um, minutes ago, a couple, like probably half an hour ago. 
right here this team I don't know which one which uh, also sooner right here I have a bunch of the silver and bronze players which go for like 2,000 3,000 coins which is fantastic so I didn't have to go buy any of those and then I had the, like the right amount of bronzes and silvers to put into the team and then the rest were gold so the, which I was absolutely just super happy about because that meant I didn't have to go and pay extra so I looked through the bench and reserves to see what the cheapest gold and, or silver because there wasn't any more there wasn't any more gold so I had to look for the silvers and bronzes which one was the cheapest one out of all of them since I had everyone else in position I could just put anyone there and it would still say at 100 camp because you only need 95 chemistry for all of those so you can have one or two players um, off cam off position if you do have loyalty but um, I was looking through Sinergu right here he was pretty cheap he was pretty good to put in the SPC of course as well and then this Marita guy was actually a bit expensive he was a bit uh, like 950 coins I expect him to be less but we do look into this left mid guy and he is like 950 coins so I'm like okay why not buy him put him in that center mid spot and he does complete the um, Asasuna SPC I do believe that is yeah Asasuna and then we do get out the gold pack for that. I feel like teams that have silvers and bronzes, you should get a bigger prize for it just because they tend to be more rare and more expensive. And then the gold player packs, you should get less. Even though that doesn't make sense, but at the same time it does. I don't know. This team right here, it took me a while. It was pretty expensive as well. I think this is Granada. I did have Ramos, the right winger. Um, and then... So I had the striker, the right winger, and then that was it. So I had to buy the rest. I was kind of messing around with the team, seeing how I could get it on chem while still getting... Um, the gold players that weren't too expensive were the silver players that weren't too expensive but then I noticed the right back I think I'm not too sure if it was the right back I think the right back was really expensive it was the right back that was really expensive so I didn't go and buy them I bought the center backs the left back the left mid the cam I do believe I bought as well and then the goalkeeper Cho was really cheap too but this guy was like freaking 12,000 coins for his Granada card and then his um what's his name the I think it's Lagana's card was like super expensive. So this guy you see right here, the Uruguayan one a couple of seconds ago, he was like 1,100 coins. I accidentally bought him for 3,000 coins, which was my bad. I knew he was 1,100 coins. I was looking for the 1,100 coin one. I went to the next page. I went back. I thought the 1,100 coin one was there. So I pressed A, up A, and then I bought him for 3,000 coins. But you know what? What are you going to do? You lose 2,900 coins right here, and then... And I was gonna lose those 300 coins or 2,000, 3,000 coins from tax anyway, eventually. So it doesn't really matter. But right here, would you go buy a striker or center forward card for um, uh, Ramos? Um, I think I do that in... I actually don't record it. I go and open the packs to see if I can get a striker or a center forward card in one of the packs. And I don't end up getting one of those. But this is like the pack time where I do get an inform. I don't know if it's in this pack. It's not in this pack. It's in the next pack for sure. I remember because the last pack I didn't get anything. We do get Hector in this pack. A couple of players right there that can go in the club. That um, center back from the Pro League was going to sell for a bit. Uh, but Healing card is going to sell for a bit as well. And then we do discard those things. Check the price for the kit. Doesn't sell for anything. We open this pack. Room gold push pack, and we don't get anything. So I'm guessing it wasn't. <laughs> I'm guessing it was in the last pack. I thought. I thought it was in this pack, but you know what? I guess I'm wrong. We do get Gwed as the new Portuguese man for PSG. We open the premium gold players pack, and we do get right back. And we do get Jale, who is 82 rated. Decent card, not too bad, but that pace is not very good for a right back. So, I do go and sell him for 15,750 coins. I think I did list him up for it, and he did already sell. He sold a couple of, uh, minutes after. But here's another clip. This is the last clip. You guys will see. I just show you the prices for the Granada player. So, yeah. This will be that in the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Draft and more Suarez SBC coming soon. See you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day and I'm out.